was, I was an incredibly shy kid. Like I, I wanted to always be the first one through the gate at school so that I wasn't a center of attention. But at the same time, I was also someone who would hang, up, hang outside the classroom door for like 20 minutes, 40 minutes, maybe even an hour just because I was so petrified of walking through the door and everyone stopping what they were doing to look at me. That was like the most terrifying thing in the world. I just would just freeze the minute I opened the door and people would look at me. It, it constantly terrified me and I would just pace around the corridor just waiting for a teacher to like walk by and like help me walk into class. And just like tell the other kids like keep their head down and just sit down, get my book out, get my pens out and just work. I really didn't want to be like seen or, or noticed at all. I think it's because growing up, I kind of felt like an outcast in a sense because I wasn't, there weren't many other like black kids that looked like me. Maybe I was one of three at my school at the time. And I didn't want to draw any other attention to myself at such a young age because I didn't speak English. It took me two months or two and a half months to learn English fluently. But even then I would like, be incredibly shy about speaking because there was still like this twinge of a like, French accent behind it. And yeah, I was just kind of petrified of like someone looking at me and saying, oh, he doesn't belong here. He sounds funny, he speaks funny. And that, that just terrified me. So anything I could do to not draw attention to myself, I would do. Even though I was like this super kind, like bubbly kid, being a center of attention when I didn't want to be terrified.